Imagine a world in which you can produce your own energy and sell it to whoever you want, whenever you wish. Or a world in which you can run your washing machine at a time when there is lots of renewable energy on the grid. Possibilities like this might seem like they are straight out of a science fiction film, but actually they are the reason why we are here today. Over the next few days we will give you a taste of what future energy services will look like. And on that note, we would like to officially welcome you to Ely Group's first ever hackathon. Yes. My name is Helen and I'm a copywriter. And I'm Marie-Laure, the Dutch Ilia spokesperson. And over the next three days, we're going to be bringing you exciting updates on how the hackathon is going, how our teams are doing, and who looks likely to win. But first, before we do so, we need to give you some background information of why we are organizing this hackathon. Let's get started. Yeah. Welcome to our mini hackathon studio. Now, over 100 coders have joined us here today to make sure that Elia Group's consumer-centric market design can be made a reality. To tell us a tiny bit more, I've been joined by Chris Peters, Hello our there. Elia Group CEO. Now, Chris, could you tell us a tiny bit more about the consumer-centric market design? Yes, so um, Elia issued a vision paper in June where we basically explained how can we bring the consumer in the center of the system and make sure that they benefit from the energy transition. And why is that important for us? Because on the one hand, we see today that we don't deliver the kind of service that the customer of the future will need for his electrical vehicle, for his heat pump. And there's a second reason is, this consumer, if they have those kind of products, they will help us to balance the grid. Okay, and is there anyone else I might be able to speak to about putting consumers at the center, for example, well, of the system? Well, you need to understand what digital tools are about, and David Zenner is our man. Look who's right beside me, David Zenner. David. Chris explained us why consumer centricity is the future. Could you explain us to us what is needed to put that consumer in the center? Well, there are actually two, two big things that are needed. Eh? The first thing is you need to have the right incentive for the consumers to adapt their consumption pattern, eh? to consume more when there's a lot of energy, consume less uh, when there's not enough. And that uh, signal is the price signal. The second thing is also you need to give the possibility, the freedom to the customer to interact and to trade his energy with different service providers of his, uh, of, of his choice. And that we want to do through uh, a platform that we are creating which enables the exchange of blocks of energy with uh, service providers of his choice. When I hear platform, I think about digitalization. Is that a key factor as well? Indeed, that's, that's right. But for that, uh, I would recommend you to go uh, and see for Michael van Roeder, who is a specialist into digitalization within the Elia Group. Okay, thank you, David. You're welcome. So, Helen, apparently we need Michael van Roeder. Can you find him somewhere? Michael? Yes. Hello, sorry to hi. interrupt you. So, firstly, could you tell us why digitalization is so important? Well, hi. First of all, otherwise I wouldn't have a job as a CDO. And secondly, digitization is an enabler for the energy system to uh, move from, uh, you know, the electrical system to a, a digital system because the energy system in the future needs to have much more connectivities to the uh, connectivity to the outside world. And can you tell us a bit more about this hackathon, this event? Why is it so important to hold an event like this? Well, first of all, the hackathon is cool, right? Uh, and second, hackathons bring things which you uh, write on PowerPoints or you words into action. So we not only talk about what could be cool and interesting and useful, but we try it. That sounds exciting. I'm looking forward to what the next few days will bring. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for your See time. You yeah. I'm just going to pop in with one of the teams and ask her why she's decided to join the Ilia Hackathon. Hi. Hello, hello. Why did you join? Uh, I've uh, been uh, working in the utilities industry for the last six years. And uh, I, when I heard about the concept, I got truly inspired because I believe this will introduce a big disruption on the way we look at en energy. And I'm uh, very proud to be part of that disruption on the market from the very beginning. OK. The Hackathon is also a competition. Yes. yes. What are your chances? Will you win? Uh, it's a bit difficult to say up front, but I'm uh, quite confident in the team we were able to Together, uh, we have a strong Microsoft team here uh, sitting next to us, so I think we might be able to uh, make a nice chance. Yes. Okay. Good luck. I like your confidence. See you. So this is one of the participants. We will talk to other participants this afternoon. So stay tuned on our vlog channel of the Elia Group Hackathon.